Okay, those of you that have been following my teaching, I've been talking about different gifts that the body has. And today we're going to be talking about the gift of healing. Sorry, I got to... Okay, so um, first of all, last time we talked about the gifts of words of knowledge, all right? And again, we are in 1 Corinthians and it's 12, 8. To one through the Spirit is given a word of wisdom. To another, a word of knowledge, right? In accordance with the same Spirit. To another, faith. So a gift is faith, right? By the same Spirit. And to another, here it is, gifts of healing by one Spirit. So I'm going to be talking about the gift of healing. What is the gift of healing? How do we use the gift of healing? How do you know if you have the gift of healing? Well, first of all, scripture says that not everybody has this gift. If you go and you look in 12, 9, 29, it says, not all are emissaries, are they? Not all are prophets, are they? Not all are teachers, are they? Not all are miracle workers, are they? And not all have the gifts of healing. Not all speak in tongues, right? Not all interpret. So eagerly seek the better gifts, all right? So this is what we know about the gifts of the Spirit. Not all have the same gifts. We have to know that first of all. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Miranda. Um, The gifts of the Spirit obviously are given to us by the Spirit of God. And it says eagerly seek the better gifts, all right? So seek these gifts. So you can seek after them. You can be zealous for the gifts of the Spirit. And God will bestow upon the gifts that he knows that you're ready, that you can actually handle. Hey, Laura, um, if you are too prideful, God will probably not give you the gift of healing. I'll just tell you that right now because it will be to your own demise. If you're going around and you're just healing all these people and you're taking the credit, he knows that that's actually for your 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 demise, like that could hurt you. So likely if you're dealing with pride and you're dealing with arrogance on all of those things, um, God might actually prohibit you from walking in miraculous gifts. And these are the gifts of the spirit where there's signs, right? So the gift of miracle working is a sign. If you are operating in the gifts of healing, that is also a sign. Um, my son is probably going to come in here just so you know. You okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. I just fell off two ones, and this one's the worst. Ouch. I need a band-aid. You need a band-aid? Okay, grab that ta- uh, chair and get, get a, one of those. <gasps> um, okay, so, gifts of healing, all right, is, um... That's funny. He's getting a band-aid right now. (laughs) That's hilarious. He got a thorn in his hand. Okay. So, um, gifts of healing are gifts in which God bestows upon those of us who, um, are being used by the Lord in that moment even. So sometimes you might just be praying for somebody And it'll operate. It'll come from you. Maybe it's something that's like a stamp on your life. If you have been healed from anything, the Lord probably has given you the gift of healing in that specific area. For an example, um, because I was born with bilateral congenital hip dysplasia and I was healed and I was the lame made to walk, I was healed. I have more faith for somebody who is lame, for somebody who uh, has hip dysplasia. There was a man who was in the military who could not sign up for the military unless he got rid of his uh, his hip dysplasia. He had hip dysplasia. He could not go to the army. And I remember praying for him and then him coming to me that Sunday and saying, I got accepted in the army. God healed my hips. So I've seen a lot of miracles in the realm of hips because I was healed, because I was the lame made to walk. So God gave me a faith for those that have hip issues because he healed me, right? So in the area that God has healed you in, um, a lot of people will be used in that area to heal others. For example, if you have been 
you know, maybe you had eye issues and God healed your eyes, you'll probably have a greater faith to pray for somebody. Hey, guys. You'll have a better faith to pray for somebody in the area of healing. Remember, I have three boys, so I was trying to take some time to do this, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, in the in the area of healing, then someone who has not been healed in that area. So if you've been healed of, um, I don't know, some kind of sickness, you can pray for somebody with that kind of sickness in a way that somebody who hasn't had that has because you have the faith to do so. So here is something, hey Josh, so here is something that I like to do and that is um, daddy said you can't be in the videos anymore, buddy. He doesn't want you online. So will you go play outside or do you want to... Okay. Um, so here is what I like to do. I like to actually study the body. All right. So I like to look at anatomy and physiology and really study the different parts of the body because I pray specifically for different parts of the body and it works. Um, this is something that I've taught and it's something that is so beautiful. Thank you, Becca, because it is us showing our knowledge or, um, and, and praying against those things in the different areas, like intentionally praying. So for an example, say it's in the pancreas, right? then I would pray in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit of affliction located in the pancreas. And I command you to come out in Jesus name. If it's the thyroid, I would say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over every spirit of affliction located in the thyroid. And I command you to come out in Jesus name right? If it's the brain, then sometimes I like to pray for different parts of the brain. So God might say the right hemisphere or the right lobe, the frontal lobe, the cerebellum. There's all sorts of different areas, cerebrum. There's all sorts of different areas of the brain. This is just an anatomy and physiology book, right? But when we really pray in faith for different parts of the body, there's something beautiful. And I don't really know why it works, but it does. Um, I've prayed for intestines. I've prayed for all sorts of different areas. So you can literally go, okay, just like a doctor, because we are the doctors in the spirit realm, right? You can say, okay, where is the pain located? And they may say, it's in my uh, eardrum. Okay, so in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over all pain located in the eardrum. I take authority over all inflammation in the eardrum and I command you to come out now in Jesus name. Right. If they say it's in my nostril, then he would say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over all pain and all inflammation located in the right nostril, in the left nostril. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name, all affliction, all inflammation, anything that's located in the nostrils, you have to leave now by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If they say it's in my right lung. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over every spirit of affliction located in the right lung and I command you to come out now in Jesus name. Come out of the left lung, come out of the right lung, all inflammation located in the right lung, all inflammation located in the left lung. Come out now in Jesus name, all blockages located in the lungs. Come out in the name of Jesus, all blockages in the chest area, in the airway passages. Come out now in Jesus name, come out of the nostrils, come out of the airway area, come out of the diaphragm all blockages, all inflammation, any kind of tightness come out in the name of Jesus right now in Jesus name. If you are praying for, I'm trying to look for different areas of the body. So for an example, say they have facial nerve palsy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over every single spirit 
and every spirit of affliction located on one side of the face, all weakness of the face, all inability to close the eye, come out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of sudden, every spirit that causes sudden onset of facial weakness, I command all weakness to come out of the face now in Jesus' name. I take authority over everything, yes, located in the genitals. You can pray for that area. I know that's awkward for people, but a lot of people have issues. So you can command any anything located in the right ovary, the left ovary, anything located in the fallopian tubes, any kind of affliction, any kind of infliction, any kind of trauma located in the genital area, in the ovaries, inside of the fallopian tubes, come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority over every spirit located in the pancreas, all affliction, all infirmity, all sickness located in the pancreas, come out in Jesus' name. All, all sickness located in the stomach, all aching, all trauma in the stomach region come out now in Jesus name. See, that is how God has taught me to pray. No one else never took a class, never asked him for, uh, or uh, never um, sought healing classes because I was healed as a baby. I had faith to believe. I knew how to pray because because my parents t honestly taught me faith at a young age because I was somebody, again, I was born with bilateral congenital hip dysplasia. My hips were not formed correctly and um, I was not going to be able to walk and I was going to have to have frequent hip replacement surgeries, every single major growth in order to make sure that I could keep my, my hips even steady because they were not formed correctly. But God touched my body and he healed me. And my mom and my dad prayed for me. And my mom believed that God was going to heal me in order to increase my dad's faith. And he prayed for me and my family prayed for me. And they brought me into the doctor and I was supposed to get that surgery. And I was funded by America's um, Children's Crippled Foundation. And they canceled the, cri the Crippled Foundation funding. And I never had to get the surgery. And the doctor wrote, unexplainable and my mom and my dad told me that story over and over and over again as I grew up and I I believe in miracles and I see miracles and I my testimony is that I was the lame made to walk and so I will always believe in healing and I will always have faith that God heals no matter what because I'm not supposed to be walking right now I should be literally in they try I should not be walking like, I have to remind myself that all of the time. God, you touched my body. I know you're still my healer. I know you still, you, you still work miracles. And that's another gift, is the gift of faith. And that gift comes when you experience miracles, when you experience healing. You begin to have the gift of faith to intercede for others because you see God move. And so you can't deny that he's a healer. You can't deny that he still works. Listen, when they brought me in for x-rays because I started having a, a moment of doubt and I had pulled my, my right labrum when I was 22 and he did those x-rays and I'm going to post them. There was, he said it was an th abnormal thick amount of acetabulum holding my hips in place. He said, this is so weird. It looks like glue. It's like a thick amount of acetabulum holding your joints into place. And he had never seen that amount of acetabulum. That was the mark of God literally proving that he glued those hips into the sockets. He supernaturally glued my hips in the sockets. I am walking because of him. I believe that he is my healer and he will heal you. Whoever you are who needs a miracle, God is still our healer. And you know what? Do I understand everything? Nope. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to pray because I will continue to pray and I will continue to have faith no matter what. Even if God doesn't jump right when I say jump, I'm going to continue to have faith. All right. So we're going to command anything in the central nervous system. So in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over all affliction located in the service, the central nervous system. Every spirit inside of the brain, the spinal cord, I command you to come out of the neurons in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the cerebrum in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of the hippo. 
thalamus right now in Jesus' name. Come out of the midbrain in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of the cerebellum. Come out of the medulla. In the mighty name of Jesus, all affliction is leaving the medulla. All affliction is leaving the hypothalamus. All affliction, thalamus. All affliction is leaving the cerebrum. In the name of Jesus, come out of the central nervous system right now in Jesus' name. Come out right now. Come out of the midbrain. Come out of the medulla. Come out of the spinal cord. I bind the strong man. Whoa, what's in my spinal cord? I bind the strong man and the spinal cord in the name of Jesus. All affliction, anything that came in, listen. I am telling you, there's traumas that we can experience. There's all sorts of stuff that affects every single nerve of our body. And we don't ever get to know unless we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority over every spirit located in the sciatic nerve, all affliction in the sciatic nerve. You come out now in Jesus name. All paralysis of the facial nerves. You come out in the name of Jesus. I bind the strong man of affliction located in the facial nerves. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. All affliction, all infliction, all infirmity of all kind. Come out of the facial nerves now in Jesus' name. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you come out. Anything that came in through a stroke, I command you to come out every single spirit that came in through paralysis of any kind idiopathic paralysis come out in the mighty name of Jesus come out of the radial nerves come out of the median nerves come out of the unar nerves in the name of Jesus by the spirit of the living God you come out of the sciatic nerves now in Jesus name you come out of the tibial nerves in the name of Jesus come out of the biceps femoris muscle in Jesus name all affliction is leaving come out come out come out come out come out come out of the deep peroneal nerves in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth come out of the tibial nerves come out of the obturator nerves in Jesus name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every single spirit of affliction located inside of the muscles you come out now in Jesus name come out of the ventral root come out of the spinal nerve come out of the dorsal root come out of every single nerve that sends messages to the brain you come out of them now in Jesus name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth all affliction is leaving the cervical plexus come out now every spirit that is inhibiting the provision of innervation to the neck. Ooh, come out now in Jesus' name. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Out of the neck. All affliction in the neck. You're leaving now. Yep. Come out of the cervical cord. Come out of the cervical nerves. Come out of the thoracic nerves. Come out of the lumbar nerves in Jesus' name. You come out of the sacral nerves in the name of Jesus. All affliction is leaving. Go, go, go. Wow, I'm getting touched by God while I'm doing this, you guys. God is touching my body. I didn't even know I needed healing in those areas. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over every spirit that is located in the cells, all affliction in the cell body. You come out now in Jesus name. Again, any spirit of affliction located the neurons come out now. Every spirit of affliction located in the axons come out now in Jesus name. Every spirit located in the neurological system Come out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I bind the strong man of affliction located in the nerves, branching from the spinal cord, leading to the arms and the legs and all parts of the body. Come out affliction in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of affliction located in the brain, you come out in Jesus' name. Wow, I felt that one strong. Come out of the brain. Every single spirit attacking the brain in the name of Jesus. Every spirit attacking the brain nerves. You come out. Neurological nerves. Neurons. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh. Come out of the avicular ducts right now in Jesus name. I bind every spirit of affliction located in the tiny sacs of the lung tissue. And I command you to come out. Wow. Whoo, in Jesus name. 
Thank you, Jesus. I bind every single spirit located in the airways. I command you to come out. Affliction, come out of the airways. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out of the airways now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of affliction located in the arteries, you come out now in Jesus' name. Anything that is keeping the provision and the supply of, of blood flow to the lung tissues, you come out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of affliction located in the bronchial arteries, come out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of affliction located in the bronchial veins, come out, 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 come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every spirit of affliction located in the nasal septum, you come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the structure that separates the nasal cavity into two parts right now in Jesus' name. All affliction, come out of the nasal cavity in the name of Jesus. All affliction, come out of the nasal septum in the name of Jesus. All blockages in the nasal passages. Come out now in Jesus' name. Every blockage in the lungs, you have to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All affliction, come out of the lungs. 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 All affliction, come out of the primary organs for breathing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you come out in Jesus' name. Whoo, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, that you created every single one of these body parts. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the lymphatic and immune system. Hey, and I command you to come out. Come out, affliction. Come out of the adrenaline in the name of Jesus. Come out of the adrenaline in the name of Jesus. All affliction located in the auxiliary nodes. Come out now. All affliction located in the lymph nodes. Come out, 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 come out. Listen, this is just an anatomy and physiology book. That's it. That's all. I bind the strong man in the name of Jesus inside of the auxiliary nodes and I command you to come out. Affliction, come out of the immune system. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the immune system. Come out of the hormones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I bind every single spirit of affliction and abnormality located in the immune system. And I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Come out of the lymph organs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the lymphatic tissue right now in Jesus' name. Come out of the lymph nodules in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command all affliction in the axillary nodes. Come out. Come out of the neck. Come out of the cervical nodes. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of the tonsils. I bind and I rebuke all affliction in the tonsils. I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. All the affliction located in the back of the throat, you come out in Jesus' name. All inflammation located in the back of the throat, come out, 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 come out. All affliction in the back of the throat, all inflammation, all swelling in the back of the throat, you come out of them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh by the the blood and the power of Jesus Christ. We're going to go to the cardia, cardiac circulatory system. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit of affliction located in the pulmonary artery. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit located in the hepatic Hepatic vein, come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke all affliction located. Hallelujah, somebody's feeling this. Thank you, Jesus, because this is good. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located inside of the, the right chamber of the heart. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the left chamber of the, out of the heart right now. Come out of the mitral valve. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command every spirit... In the cusps of the heart, come out now in Jesus' name. All affliction in the papillary muscles, come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came in the flesh. All the right atrium, I bind and rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the right atrium. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the left atrium. Come out of the right atrium. Come out of the pulmonary veins in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit of affliction located in the heart, you are leaving in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of the superior vena cava in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, you know what all those mean. Because he created them. 
In the name of Jesus, I command every single spirit located in the valves of the heart, you come out of them. You come out of them. Affliction, you come out of them. Inflammation, you come out of the valves of the heart right now in Jesus' name. All infliction located in the mitral valve, you come out of the heart in the name of Jesus. All spirits of affliction come out. Come out of the pulmonary trunk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the aortic valve in the name of Jesus. Come out of the left pulmonary artery in the name of Jesus. Come out of the right atrium. Come out of the left atrium in the name of Jesus. Come out of the right ventricle. Come out of the left ventricle. I bind the strong man of affliction. I bind the strong man of abnormalities. I bind the strong man right now of any kind of infirmity located in the right ventricle of the heart, the left ventricle of the heart. And I command you to come out, come out of the bicuspid valve, come out of the tricuspid valve, come out of the inferior vena cava and the aorta valve in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every single spirit located in the two large veins, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava, come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All affliction is leaving. Wow. I felt that. I felt that. I felt that. I didn't even know. That. All affliction is leaving now in Jesus' name. You guys, this is so good. Again, the Lord led me to this because my husband is an EMT and he's been studying medical terminology and anatomy and physiology and paramedic stuff. And he was like, this is going to really help you when you're praying for people to know how to pray for certain parts of the body. So I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the connective tissue. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the capillaries. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke all affliction located in the pulmonary venule. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the capillary. Come out of the tissue cells. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the arteries. Come out of the veins. Come out of the capillaries. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You come out of the venules in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit of affliction located in the jugular veins. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name. Come out of the cartoid arteries. Come out of the superior vena cava. Come out of the renal vein. All affliction come out of the renal vein. Come out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of the inferior vena cava. Come out of the femoral artery. Come out of the femoral vein in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of affliction inside of the internal cartoid. Come out now in Jesus name. Ah, okay. Come out of the internal cartoid right now. In the name of Jesus, I command every spirit of affliction to come out of the internal cartoid. The cartoid sinus, the vetter, the vertebral, the vertebral. In the name of Jesus, come out now in Jesus' name. Yeah, I'm feeling this. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located inside of the jugular vein. And I command you to come out, 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 come out. Come out of the pelvis and the lower extremity of the pelvis right now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit of affliction located in the thoracic visceral branches. And I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing it right, all right? <laughs> I bind and I rebuke every single spirit of affliction located in the celiac trunk. And I command you to come out of the splenal, come out of the renal, come out of the lil lilacs, come out of the splenic, come out of the pancreas, come out of the spleen, come out of the left gastric, the right gastric, the stomach, all the way out, all affliction, all inflammation. You come out now, come out, 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 come out. Every spirit of affliction located in the celiac trunk, come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the head and the neck. I bind and I rebuke all affliction located in the head and the neck. The two major veins that drain the head and neck are called the external and internal jugular veins. Ooh, I bind and I rebuke all affliction located inside of the jugular veins. All affliction, all inflammation, all infirmity, all abnormality inside of the jugular veins come out now in Jesus' name. 
Amen. So you guys can do this too. All it takes is faith and an anatomy and physiology book. Okay? Just go and get your anatomy and physiology book. You feeling a little tight? You don't need to go to a chiropractor. Who needs the chiropractor? When you can just go and command all of the tightness to leave your body. I bind and I rebuke every spirit inside of the hands and the metacarpal bones. Yeah, I'm all in it all the time. I bind and rebuke all infirmity, all tightness inside of the metacarpal bones. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name. Come out of the phalanges. Come out now. All tightness and inflammation inside of the phalanges. Come out now in Jesus name. All affliction, all tightness. All blockages of any kind inside of the phalanges, you come out, come out, come out. All arthritis, you are leaving in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All word curses or diagnoses that have been spoken over the body be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the phalanges right now. Come out of the bones. Come out of the phalanges. Come out of the metal carpal bones. Come out of the fingers. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bind and I rebuke every spirit inside of the saddle joint. Yeah, the saddle joint. That's the saddle joint. I command every single spirit of affliction located in the saddle joint. Come out now in Jesus name. All tightness, all affliction, all abnormalities, all injury, all infirmity, all sickness, all tightness inside of the saddle joint. Come out now in Jesus name. Come out, come out, come out. In the name of Jesus, come out right now. Woo, yes, Jesus. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the acetabulum. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the hip, come out of the thigh, come out of the knee, come out of the leg, come out of the ankle, come out of the foot, come out of the toes. Every spirit of infliction or affliction located inside of the acetabulum. Or the socket of the ball and socket joint. Come out now in Jesus name. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit right now of affliction located in the acetabulum. Or the socket of the ball and socket joint. Come out now in Jesus name. Come out of the lower extremities in the name of Jesus. I bind and I rebuke all affliction located in the femur. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name. Come out of the bones. Come out of the bones. Come out of the bones. In the name of Jesus, affliction is leaving. Hallelujah. De Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, affliction is leaving the femoral hand, the proximal femur, the neck. In the name of Jesus, come out. All tightness in the neck, come out in Jesus' name as they breathe. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come out of the lower extremities, come out of the hip, come out of the thigh, come out of the knee. I would love to be a physical therapist. My husband's on to something. I'll totally do it, but I'll do it in a different way. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the knee joint, and I command you to come out, come out of the hinge, Come out of the knee joints. Come out of the ligaments. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit of tightness and affliction located in the knee joint. And I command you to come out. In Jesus' name, come out. Come out now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out right now. Come out of the fibula. I bind and rebuke all tightness in the fibula. Come out in Jesus' name. Dang, this is cool. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. I bind and I rebuke. Ooh, that's a bad injury. Every spirit located in the patella. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and rebuke all affliction located in the patella. And I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the meniscus. Affliction, come out of the meniscus right now in Jesus' name. I bind and rebuke all tightness located in the neck and the back and the joints. And I command you to come out. Affliction, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Tightness and inflammation, come out of the joints. Come out of the back. Come out of the neck. All tightness is leaving. God, you said we have been made upright. And I command every lie that comes against that to leave in Jesus' name. All curvature of the spine. Come out now in Jesus' name. All, all the curvature of the spine. All tightness inside of the spine. 
come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the, in the ankle. And I command you to come out of the ankle joint in the name of Jesus. Come out of the Achilles tendon. Come out of the fibula. Come out of the phalanges of the, of the foot right now in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. All the way out. All the way out. Come out. Come out of the ankle. I bind and rebuke all affliction in, in the ligaments and I command you to come out now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Come out of the thigh, come out of the knee, come out of the leg, come out of the tarsals, the metatarsals, the phalanges, the foot, the ankle, the tibia, the fibula, the patella, the femur, the hip, the pelvis. I bind and I rebuke you affliction and I command you to come out of the pelvis, come out of the hip, come out of the femur, come out of the thigh, come out of the knee, come out of the leg, come on. All affliction, all inflammation, you come out of the knee, 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 come out of the patella, come out of the kneecap in the name of Jesus. All affliction is leaving, all infliction is leaving, all inflammation is leaving the kneecap in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of her knee, come out of Rebecca, Rebecca's meniscus right now in Jesus name. All inflammation in the meniscus, come out. Come out of the meniscus right now. I lay hands in the spirit and I command you pain. Come out of the meniscus right now in Jesus' name. All tightness in the shoulders come out in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke all osteoarthritis in the knee and I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. Come out, come out, come out in the name of Jesus. Jesus, by the spirit of the living God, I thank you, God, for your healing power. I thank you, Lord, that you have called us, Jesus, to be your hands and your feet, Father. All pain in the body is leaving in the name of Jesus. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command every single spirit of affliction to leave these bodies now. Come out of the brain. Come out of the head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose in the name of jesus you come out of them in jesus name come out of them in the name of jesus I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the acetabulum and I command you to come out now in Jesus name. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the alve alveoli and I command you to come out of the cavities, come out of the sockets in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit of affliction located in the skeleton to come out now in Jesus name. Tightness and inflammation go in the name of Jesus. Every spirit in the disc of the back. If there's any kind of bulging disc, I loose shalom, perfect peace into the back right now in Jesus' name. Perfect peace, God. I command all inflammation in the discs of the back, in the vertebrae, spine. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the skeleton. Come out of the skeletal muscles. Come out of the spine. I bind and I rebuke. Listen, the Lord told me, I'm telling you, that there was trauma that came in through in a, uh, an epidural. I almost died. My heart rate into, went into the teens. Maybe you have that. I bind and rebuke every spirit of trauma that came in through epidurals. And I command you to come out of these bodies now in Jesus' name. All inflammation that came in through epidurals that came into the spine, the spinal cord, come out in the name of Jesus. All inflammation, all tightness, anything that came in through the spinal fluid through an epidural, I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All affliction, all abnormalities, anything that came in through epidurals, that came in through the spinal fluid. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every single spirit of affliction that came in through the trauma of having an epidural come out now in Jesus name. All trauma inside of the frontal lobe, any kind of, of trauma or any anything that came into the frontal lobe, the pituitary gland, I command you to come out now in Jesus name affliction in the pituitary gland come out in the name of Jesus affliction in the frontal lobe come out in the name of Jesus affliction that entered in through the subconscious even I command you to come out now in Jesus name all mind binding spirits come out now mind racing spirits come out now in Jesus name all affliction and pain
brain inside of the mind. I command you to come out now. The brain come out now. Squeezing of the brain. Migraines. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over all migraines. I command you to come out of them. In the name of Jesus, I break your powers by the blood and the power of Yeshua, the Messiah. All the tightness inside of the skull. I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. All the tightness, all inflammation, feeling like their head is being squeezed. I command that to come out in the name of Jesus. While we're going with that, I just command all sleep deprivation to come out in the name of Jesus. I take authority over all insomnia. I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Come out of them by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority over depression, anxiety, and sleep deprivation, insomnia. I bind the strong man that is located inside of their brain brain inside of their mind that is making the, their brain not fire correctly, attacking the neurons of their brain, affliction inside of the neurons of the brain, come out, 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 every spirit of affliction located in the neurons of the brain, come out now in Jesus name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God said, listen, she was afflicted by the devil. That woman who came up, who was hunched over for 14 years, I believe, afflicted by the devil. The word affliction, spirit of affliction. You come out now. Remember that word, affliction, affliction, because you're afflicted. If your heart is afflicted, then there's a affliction. So take authority over the spirit of affliction located in the heart. Take authority over the spirit of affliction located in the brain. Take authority over the spirit of affliction located in the right chamber, the left chamber, wherever it's located. The spirit that you command is affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority. Again, all I have is an anatomy and a physiology book. You can do this yourself. I bind and I rebuke. Every spirit of affliction located in the blood vessels, the arteries, the veins, the capillaries, the arterioles. And I command you to come out. Every spirit of affliction located in the circulation of the heart, the muscle of the heart, the coronary arteries. Come out now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit located in the rootlet, the small nerves. I command you to come out of the spinal cord, come out of the sensory nerves, come out of the sciatica. I bind and I rebuke all pain and muscle weakness that travels from the back into the buttocks and along the leg into the foot as a result of irritation of lumbar spinal nerve root. I command you to come out now in Jesus' Jesus name every spirit located in the sciatica come out now inflammation in the sciatica come out now inflammation in the sensory nerves come out now in Jesus name all affliction of any kind inside of the sensory nerves come out all affliction inside of the spinal nerves come out all affliction inside of the spinal cord come out in Jesus name every single spirit that came in in the name of Jesus through spinal taps you come out of the vertebrae vertebral Canal. I bind and rebuke every spirit located in the vertebral canal and I command you to come out. Affliction, come out of the vertebral canal. Come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the grooves located between the cerebrum and the giri and I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I bind every spirit located in the temporal lobe. Ooh, wow, listen to this. The portion of the brain that plays an important role in hearing and memory. I bind and rebuke every spirit located in the temporal lobe, all affliction, all infliction, all trauma located in the temporal lobe. You come out now in Jesus' name. Come out. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Come out now. Every spirit of affliction located in the temporal lobe, the portion of the brain that plays an important role of hearing and memory. Come out now in Jesus' name. All trauma located in the temporal lobe. Thank you, Jesus. Come out now in Jesus' name. Affliction and infliction. Any kind of trauma located in the temporal lobe. I'm going to use this one a lot. Come out now in Jesus' name. Yeah, I felt that one too, Rebecca. It plays a part in hearing and memory, it says. I bind every spirit attacking the temporal lobe, affliction located in the portion of the brain that plays an important role in hearing and memory. Come out now in Jesus' name. All affliction in the temporal lobe, come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the temporal lobe. 
all affliction, all trauma located in the temporal lobe. You come out of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of them. 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 Becca says, I felt tingling on my knee when you were praying for my meniscus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of trauma, an infliction, any kind of affliction located in the nerve in the legs muscles. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the tibial nerves in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every spirit attacking the tibial nerves. Come out. I'm getting like healed over here. My body's feeling good. Come out in Jesus' name. You come out of the synaptic vessels. You come out of the tibial nerves. You come out of the veneral root in the name of Jesus. Come out now. Come out of the spinal cord. Come out of the sensory nerves. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Rebecca says, I was in an abusive relationship for 15 years. It was horrible. And I still have to deal with my ex-husband because of our son we share. So we bind and rebuke all trauma in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we command it to come out of the, temp the, the frontal lobe in Jesus' name. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come out of Rebecca. All trauma that came in through abuse, come out of Rebecca now. Come out of them now in Jesus' name. All trauma that entered in through physical abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, spiritual abuse, sexual abuse. Every spirit of trauma that entered in through abuse, you are leaving in the name of Jesus. Again, that's the frontal lobe where we process trauma. I know that much. I've been doing a lot of studying. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over all affliction located in the sphincter, a ring of muscle that surrounds the opening for contraction in your stomach. So I just take authority over all affliction located in the small intestine, the sphincter sphincter, the stomach, and I command you to come out now in Jesus name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the small intestine, come out of the gastrointestinal system right now in Jesus name. You guys, I'm going to cry. God is like, there we go. There you go, daughter. I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to follow in my mom's I'm going to be a nurse. This stuff excites me because I love healing. This is where I belong. I, I don't know if I'm going to be a nurse like in the physical, but I'm going back to the healing department of my ministry. Like that's the part that I love. I love healing. I love seeing people healed. I love healing. Like I said, I was the lame made to walk. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit located inside of the menstrual area. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the amniotic fluids maybe you're pregnant come out in the name of jesus every spirit located in the placenta affliction of any kinds any abnormalities located in fetal cells amniotic fluid come out in the name of jesus i bind and i rebuke every spirit right now by the blood and the power of jesus christ of nazareth located inside of the body I command you by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth located in the body, the blood vessels. You come out of the anterior pituitary. You come out of the hormones in Jesus name. Come with God. All things are possible because I don't know how I'm going to memorize all this stuff or take medical school. I bind and rebuke every single spirit. Located inside of the adrenal cortex, the outer layer of the adrenal gland. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. You know what, though? You can be a nurse in the spirit. You don't necessarily have to go work at a hospital. But you can go volunteer there. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a volunteer.
I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the adrenal cortex, the outer layer of the adrenal gland, and I command you to come out every spirit affecting the production of hormones. Come out now in Jesus' name. Anything that is important in regulating the water and salt balance of the body. Yeah. Affliction located in the adrenal cortex, you come out now in Jesus' name. Come out, 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 come out. Woo! Every spirit located in the adrenal cortex, all affliction of in, or infliction of any kind, all trauma, anything that is affecting the adrenal cortex, you come out now in Jesus' name. Rebecca says, when you were praying for me for trauma, I felt in my brain going down my right shoulder and my emotions big time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the alpha cells. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. All infliction located in the cells come out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit located in the androgens for males come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I re rebuke every spirit located in the glands. I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out. Again, I'm going to show you again. This is just an anatomy and physiology book, y'all. This is my husband's paramedic book. You can do this. I bind, ooh, the epidermis. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located, all affliction located in the epidermis. And I command you to come out now. Affliction in the hair, the pores, the nerves, the sweat glands, the hair follicles, the blood vessels. Every single spirit of affliction located in the epidermis. You come out now in Jesus' name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the epidermis. All injury to the epidermis. All abnormality of the epidermis. Come out now. Come out. It means skin. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the epidermis now in Jesus' name. I bind you. I rebuke you. All affliction, all infliction located on the glands. You come out of their glands in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit affecting the epidermis come out of their skin. Come out of our skin. We command you to come out. Affliction, come out. All injury to the skin. You come out. All trauma to the epidermis come out now in Jesus name I bind you and I rebuke you and I command you all trauma affect 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 affecting the skin come out in Jesus name I command you every spirit so Judas says she needs healing in her fingers. I command you every spirit of osteoarthritis, all word curses of osteoarthritis, all spirits of affliction located in the phalanges. You come out of these fingers now in Jesus' name. Come out of the fingers. I lose healing into these fingers in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I lose healing into the epidermis in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority right now over all abnormalities located inside of the fingers and I command you to come out come out now in Jesus name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whatever you guys need healing from just just put it on here because I'm just going through the the thing while my kids are playing outside <clears throat> I bind and I rebuke every spirit of itching I command all itching to come out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything that is causing itching in the body, you come out. Torment, come out of her in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Yeshua the Messiah. All the dry and itchiness, every spirit of affliction inside of the body, you come out of the, the skin in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located on the skin of the neck. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I lose healing into the epidermis of the neck now in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whoo, yeah, I guess I need that too. Come out now in Jesus name. I bind and I rebuke all migraines. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All tightness in the brain, all nausea, all inflammation of any kind. I bind you, I rebuke you. I command you to come out in Jesus name. All chronic pain, get out in the name of Jesus. All pain of all kind, widespread, all over the body. You are leaving pain in Jesus' name. You are leaving pain in Jesus' name. 
pain, you come out. Affliction, you come out. I bind and rebuke every single spirit of affliction located in the abdomen, the hollow organs, the muscles, the peritonis, the solid organs. Come out in Jesus' name. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every spirit of affliction located in the abdominal, abdominal aorta, come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the abdominal cavity. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. All affliction, all infirmity, all sickness, any kind of abnormality located inside of the abdominal cavity, you come out in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of of affliction located in the abdominal quadrants come out in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Again, just an anatomy and physiology book. It works. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located inside of the antigens. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. Affliction, come out of the antigens. Afflictions, come out of the aortic valves. Affliction, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out of the appendix in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out of the areola. Come out of the arms. Come out of the ex upper extremities. Come out of the bones. Come out of the muscles. All affliction, come out of the muscles in in Jesus name all affliction come out of the bones in Jesus name come out of the skeletal system in the name of Jesus who needs a chiropractor somebody was messaging me yesterday saying are chiropractors evil no they're not but you have authority to get your get your fix by just commanding things to leave you. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every single spirit of affliction located in the cerebrum. I command you to come out of the cervical canal. I command you to come out of the lymph nodes. I command you to come out of the spine. I command you to come out of the digestive system in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of affliction and tightness of inflammation located in the muscles come out in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit located inside of the coronary arteries i command you to come out now in jesus name come out of the circulatory system in the name of jesus affliction is leaving who hallelujah come out thank you jesus a stomach bug god i just pray for healing for the stomach in the name of jesus all infirmity leave her now in jesus name by the blood and the power of yeshua hamashiach sickness is leaving infirmity is leaving affliction any kind of tightness is leaving in jesus name i bind and i rebuke every spirit of affliction located inside of the heart anatomy of the heart blood flow i bind and i rebuke every spirit located in the electrolytes and i command you to come out in jesus name i bind and i rebuke every spirit right now located in the hair listen there is some stuff with hair all right i'm not even kidding you i bind and i rebuke every spirit located inside of the the follicles the hair follicles and i command you to come out all affliction inside of the hair follicles come out in the name of jesus by the blood and the power of jesus christ of nazareth come out of the skeletal system come out of the nerves come out of the muscles come out of the bones in jesus name barbara I don't think that that's something you should have shame over. God can still take away any kind of pain that's left over, but don't have any shame. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over every spirit of affliction located in the back, the facial, the forearms, the hands, the head, the hip, the body, the legs, the organs, the pelvis. And I command you to come out every spirit affecting swallowing. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit of affliction inside of the esophagus. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name. Those of you that can't swallow big pills. Okay. Pray for your esophagus. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction and inflammation inside of the esophagus. All trauma that came in through the esophagus. I command you to come out. Somebody, I'm going to pray against strangulation. I command all trauma that came through strangulation to come out now in Jesus' name. All trauma, all inflammation in the neck that came in through strangulation come out in the name of Jesus. I just felt that really strongly for some reason. 
come out of them now in Jesus name. All trauma that came in through strangulation come out of their neck in the name of Jesus. All inflammation, all tightness inside of the neck, all the trauma that came in through strangulation into the neck, into the body, you come out of them now in Jesus' name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rebecca, that was you. Praise God. He knows you so well. He knows you. <clears throat> I command all trauma by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth again located in the pituitary glands the frontal lobe come out now in Jesus name all trauma located inside of the frontal lobe and the pituitary gland in the pineal gland you come out now in Jesus name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh trauma is leaving them right now come out of their body come out of their body come out of their cellular membranes come out of the blood vessels come out of the frontal lobe come out of the pineal gland come out of the pituitary gland I'm learning a lot about these different glands that process trauma. And it really helped me to pray specifically when it comes to trauma. Because I pray for a lot of people that have trauma. You guys, again, all this takes is a little bit of faith and anatomy and a physiology book. And people are going to need healing in all sorts of different areas of their lives. And all you have to do is learn the body so that you can pray for certain areas. I bind and I rebuke every spirit affecting the protein of keratin, the production of the protein of keratin. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke every spirit by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth of affliction that is affecting the sweat glands and I command you to come out now in Jesus name all affliction located in the sweat glands come out in the name of Jesus all affliction located in the muscles come out in the name of Jesus all affliction located in the subcutaneous tissue come out in the name of Jesus all affliction located in the body you have to go in Jesus name. Last time I did one of these, I had a whole lot of messages of people that came on later and God did some really cool stuff. So it just takes stepping out and just being obedient. And for some reason, I really felt like God wanted me to do this. <clears throat> I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the liver, the gallbladder, the stomach, the pancreas. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name. Come out of the pancreas. Hey, what? is William right there? Yeah. Where is he? Outside with Nathan. I'm just okay, good. This bad up with bottle. Okay, good. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the frontal lobe. There we go. So here's the frontal lobe. Okay, it helps you to process thought, conscious thought, speech. It's the primary motor area. Smell. So I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, the frontal lobe. And I command you by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all affliction located in the frontal lobe come out now in Jesus name. Anything attacking the thoughts, the speech, the motor area, the smell, we command you to come out in Jesus name. We bind and we rebuke every spirit located in the parietal lobe. Again, this is body awareness, language, taste, and the primary sensory area. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the parietal lobe. Come out now in Jesus' name. All affliction in the parietal lobe. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the parietal lobe. All affliction in the parietal lobe. You come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out, 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 come out right now. All trauma that has taken place in the parietal lobe you come out of them now in jesus name all affliction of any kind that came into the parietal lobe come out now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth in fact anything that came in that's dark that could have come into your brain through things that you watched your mind even we just break that power and command it to go because this is 
something where it's a primary sensor area and your thoughts. So I would say that anything you watch would probably affect your frontal lobe and your parietal lobe. So I bind and I rebuke any single, any spirit that came in through the eye gates into the frontal lobe and the parietal lobe. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name. The temporal lobe is hearing and reading. So I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the temporal lobe. And I command you to come out now in Jesus name. Come out of the temporal lobe right now. All affliction. I'm feeling this again. Hallelujah. All affliction located in the temporal lobe. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All affliction located in the temporal lobe. Come out now in Jesus name. All trauma, all abnormalities, anything affecting the temporal lobe. You are leaving in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We lose healing. We lose healing into the frontal lobe, the periodal lobe, and the temporal lobe in Jesus' name. Okay, occipital lobe. The occipital lobe is for vision. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the occipital lobe. All affliction, all trauma, any kind of darkness, anything that has afflicted the occipital lobe, I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every spirit of affliction located in the occipital lobe, come out, 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 come out. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every spirit affecting the occipital lobe, you come out now in Jesus' name. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh. By the spirit of the living God. All affliction, all infliction, all injury, all trauma that entered into the occipital lobe come out now in Jesus' name. All abnormality in the occipital lobe come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Wow, you guys think about it. All these different functions that God gave us in our different parts of our brain. Again, the frontal lobe is for thoughts. The temporal lobe is for hearing and reading. The parietal lobe is for body awareness, taste. And then the occipital, occipital is, the, is the vision. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. The brain stem. I bind and I rebuke every single spirit of affliction affecting the brain stem, the medulla, the pons, the midbrain, the spinal cord. Again, come out in Jesus' name. We lose healing. We lose healing. We impart healing into the brain stem in the name of Jesus. We impart healing into the, the frontal lobe. The parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, the temporal lobe, in Jesus' name. We impart healing into the respiratory system. We command all affliction in the upper airway to come out in the name of Jesus. All blockages inside of the airflow, the airway, the nasal cavity, the nasopharynx come out in Jesus' name. Whew. I bind and I rebuke every spirit located in the nasal cavity, the mouth, the pharynx, the larynx, the trachea, the right bronchus, and the left bronchus. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke affliction, inflammation, any kind of infirmity located in the nasal cavity, the mouth, the pharynx, the larynx, the trachea, the right bronchus, and the left bronchus. Come out of them now in Jesus' name. Come out of the bronchioles in the name of Jesus. All affliction. Come out of the bronchioles. Come out of the bronchioles. All inflammation and blockages. Come out of the bronchioles in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> I'm feeling this, man. Hallelujah. Come out of the epilogus. Epi, epiglottis. Come out of the epiglottis in the name of Jesus. I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction in the epiglottis. And I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the thyroid. Come out of the ventricle. Come out of the vocal cords. I bind and I rebuke all blockages in the vocal cords. Hallelujah. Worship leaders, you're going to get healed. I lose healing into every vocal cord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the spirit of the living God, I command all blockages to come out of the vocal cords now in Jesus' name. I could do this all day. 
That's when you know. See, we, here's another really good uh, telltale sign that you are called to something is when you can just do it all day long. And it doesn't, like, exhaust you. Because you actually get fueled while you do it. It's like... That's when you know you're operating in your in your anointing, in your call, in your strength. Okay, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over every spirit located in the cranial nerve. I bind and I rebuke all affliction in the cranial nerve and I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Whoa. Come out of the cranial nerve in the name of Jesus. Affliction, come out in the, of the cranial nerve in Jesus' name. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Every spirit in the cranial nerve, come out in the name of Jesus. You guys, this is something that supplies muscle of the eyeball and it causes movement of the eyeball. So I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the abducent nerve and I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Affliction, infliction, in the accessory nerve, the cranial nerve, I command you to come out in Jesus name. The soft palate in the pharynx, come out in Jesus name. Every spirit of affliction Affecting the electrical signals passing along nerve fibers. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh. Every spirit located in the adrenal glands. Affliction located in the adrenal glands. Come out in Jesus name. By the blood and the power of Yeshua the Mashiach. Come out of the adrenal glands. Come out, 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 come out. Come out of the adrenal glands in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every spirit that is affecting the hormones, I bind and I rebuke you all affliction of affecting the hormones, all word curses that have been spoken over these bodies. Again, we break your powers in the name of Jesus, by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, I thank you for each and every person that has been on here today, Jesus. Father, I pray that you would remind them you are still the God who heals still the God who heals. I believe you're my healer. I believe you are all I need. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. I believe you're my healer. Kidneys. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over every spirit located in the kidneys. And I command you, affliction, come out of the kidneys now. In Jesus' name, all word curses spoken over the kidneys come out. I bind and I rebuke every spirit attacking the urinary system. I command you to come out now in Jesus' name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All affliction in the kidneys come out, 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 come out. I lose healing into the kidneys in the name of Jesus. I lose healing into the urinary system in Jesus' name. Every single spirit of affliction located in the renal capsule, you come out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit located inside of the kidneys, come out, come out of the bloodstream, come out of the kidneys, come out of the posterior, 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 whatever, posterior, pituitary, that brought a tongue out of me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bind and I rebuke every spirit of affliction located in the urinary system and I command you to come out now. In Jesus' name, you leave the people of God right now. Let my people go. In the name of Jesus, I bind and I rebuke every spirit affecting the removal, waste of products and excretion. And I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Every spirit that is attacking the urinary system the kidneys you come out in Jesus name by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we lose healing into the kidneys in Jesus name we command every single spirit located inside of the the kidneys the renal pelvis the renal capsule the renal medulla the renal column the renal pyramid come out in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh the right kidney, the left kidney, 
We command all spirits of affliction come out of our kidneys, come out of our kidneys, come out of our kidneys in the name of Jesus by the blood and the power of Yeshua. Go, 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 go right now. Come out of our kidneys, come out of our kidneys in Jesus' name. Amen. I feel like I just got a like adjustment. Feels good. So again, you have been given all authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power over the enemy. And you can ask God for the gift of healing. You can ask him. You can ask him. You know, I feel like he's just giving out gifts left and right right now because we don't have a whole lot of time left on this earth. Every single spirit of affliction located in the testes, we command you to come out now in Jesus' name. All inflammation and abnormality of all kind located in the gonads, the testes, the ovaries. You come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the pancreas. Come out of the kidneys. Come out of the adrenal gland. Come out of the thyroid gland. Come out of the pineal gland. Come out of the pituitary glands. Come out of the hippothalamus. Thalamus. I bind and rebuke all abnormality, all affliction located in the endocrine system. I command you to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh. Every spirit that is located in the endocrine system, which by the way, this would be the hormones, the insulin, the gland that produces one or more hormones. Okay, so I bind and I rebuke every spirit attacking the endocrine glands and i command you to come out in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth all affliction inside of the endocrine system come out of them now in jesus name <sighs> mm. every spirit that is prohibiting the cause of oxytocin the flow of oxytocin Anything that is affecting the hormones, the neural hormones, any kind of hormones, we command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that came in through any kind of poison that they've ever ingested in their entire life, through food even, and you don't even know it, come out of our bodies, come out of us now in Jesus' name. Hearing, well, we'll do that one next time. We did a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, I'm going to try and do this more often. But this was our healing class. So I hope you enjoyed our liberty healing class. All pain come out in the name of Jesus of the back right now in Jesus name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I lay hands in the spirit and I bind and I rebuke all pain all pain, all trauma, all tightness, all inflammation in the back come out in the name of Jesus. Loose them in Jesus' name by the blood and the power of Yeshua the Mashiach. Loose them now. All pain come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Chronic pain come out now in Jesus' name. Pain in the stomach come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tightness in the stomach come out now in Jesus' name. Pain in the back come out now. Tightness in the back come out now in Jesus name inflammation of all kinds I bind and I rebuke you and I command you to come out now in the name of Jesus God I did yes God you are so good I feel your presence Lord I'm gonna I love you I feel your presence Jesus yes Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Headache. All aching and pain in the head. I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. I bind and I rebuke all pain. Ah, 
Barbara says she was just having pain in her back and her stomach, but now it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Healing. She just got healed. Barbara just got healed. That should increase your faith. Go watch this video. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over all pain inside of the head. I command you to come out now in Jesus' name. All inflammation, all tightness inside of the head. Come out, 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 come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I lay hands in the spirit on the head. And I command all pain to come out of the head now in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood and the power of Yeshua the Mashiach. By your spirit, almighty God. Pain is leaving. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's gone. Astasia, you should be healed. All pain is leaving. All tightness in the head is leaving. It's gone. Thank you, Lord. Pain in the stomach is leaving, dissipating now in the name of Jesus. Completely lifting all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out. Completely gone by the blood and the power of Yeshua. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Astasia, healed. It's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Headache. Look, she said headache. Now we prayed. Bam, it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pain is leaving the body in Jesus' name. Aching is leaving the body in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She said, I literally went to grab medicine for my headache and the spirit said, come back. The spirit said, come back and comment. And now the pain is gone. You see, he's so good. He always confirms. Thank you, Jesus. So many people are going to be healed when they listen to this. I'm just super excited. All right. God bless you guys.